it's time for one of the Swamp Family's favorite type of videos. Today, we're gonna be slicing open some sassy Swamp Family mail. But for the first time ever, today's mail unboxing video has a theme. So, so many of you guys, ever since the 90s mystery debacle that we will never stop discussing on this channel, so many Swamp Family members graciously, amazingly sent what seems to be 90s mystery boxes. So I see at least six to 10, which definitely probably should be enough for a mail unboxing video. You guys, we have got to get to this sassy Swamp Family mail more often. It is literally sassy Swamp Family mail as far as the eye can see. And I might actually move some of these boxes to the bathroom. I wanted to do this video with natural lighting, but it's raining today. It's like the worst weather ever. But you guys, this mystery box behind me, this 90s mystery box sent to Swamp Family Mail is so heavy that I cannot even lift it. Laugh at me because all I have to open the mail with today is a tiny little pocket knife. Uh, but I think that this was one of my grandpa's pocket knives. Get your sassy clapping hands. We gotta sing the song. I got the mail, the mail, the sassy mail, the sassy mail. So uh, let's open this one. Let's open, let's do that. Because this light, it might die. I don't know how long it's gonna last. Let's open it up. Ooh, there's a sweet, sweet letter on top. What's in this box? What's in this box? We got some pip. Whoa! It looks like we have an amazing collection of cute Mickey Mouse beanie babies. Oh my gosh, they have tag protectors? This is wild. Look, we have Sorcerer Mickey. Oh, all these came from the Disney store. I remember the Disney store. Well, they still have it, but it's not its not really what it used to be. Oh my gosh, that one is so cute. I read the notes. Steve is requesting that I donate 90% of the contents of this box to Toys for Tots. And I think my local fire department, wait, is this Zazu? I was trying to think of the name, is still doing Toys for Tots. So that will be great. Oh my gosh, it's like Liberty Bell. We will definitely be donating most of these. Oh my gosh, I love Caesar, Mickey. And I'm trying to, Dipsy, oh my gosh. Okay, I hope Steve doesn't mind if I keep the Teletubby because you guys, I love Teletubbies. I saw something in here that is so near and dear to my heart. It's getting a little lighter, so eventually I'll be able to move it, but oh my gosh. I think that, yes, these came from Burger King. Oh, I feel reunited. I'm only gonna keep a couple of things, but I'm gonna put this in the keep pile because I lost these years ago, and I love them so much. They were Aladdin little plastic tumblers that you got from Burger King. Let's see what year this is. I think it's 1994. It is 1994. I see a lot of Hunchback of Notre Dame stuff in here. I loved that Disney movie, and I felt like it's one of the least celebrated of all time. So we have this really cool stationary, oh my gosh, it's called a study kit. So cool. I recently replaced the fireworks show at Disney World and they took away wishes. Thank God, I know a lot of people are sad about that. I never liked wishes. It was always depressing to me. And they remade a new one. I don't know what the new fireworks show is called, but there is a segment where the Hunchback, it's like a Hunchback of Notre Dame song. I don't remember what song it is, but I'm so happy because I loved that one. More Hunchback action figures. All of these are so cool. So we have the little gargoyles. We have, what was his name, Frollo? I always wanted to call him Rolo, but that's the candies. Oh my gosh. And you guys, if you haven't listened to this, it was always one of my favorite things. I think it's Notre Dame de Paris. Look at me trying to speak French. But it is the French, there's a French musical that's about uh, the Hunchback of Notre Dame and oh my God, I was obsessed with that forever. I had these too. It's more of the Burger King glasses, but this one is the Lion King. Oh, I can't wait to see which one it is. Oh my gosh, so Cool, and I never had this. I don't know what year, 1994. 
before. I missed the Pinocchio ones entirely. Uh, but that is so cute. I love these glasses. Oh my gosh, what is this? This is so cool. I've never even seen this before. It's Flintstones trading cards, but it's an entire binder full of Flintstones cards. That's so cool. I loved these. Actually in the late 80s, early 90s. <gasps> oh, it's full of all different ones. You know what? Maybe I had some of these. I never had the Flintstones ones, but I think I did have some of these Lion King ones. But I loved these little trading card things. There's also some Looney Tunes ones in here. Light enough for me to move. Oh my gosh, I hopefully didn't show anyone's address. Okay, we have, oh my gosh, I don't know what this is either, but it's from Toys R Us. I love the vintage packaging. It's Kyle Petty trading cards. It's some Hot Wheels. New in package, unopened. So it's like the things I just showed you guys, except for it's still in the package. Oh my gosh. You guys, I think I went there the year that these came out. Was I there for the 25th anniversary? These are collector card sets. Once again, like the things that I just showed you guys but these were from the Walt Disney World 25th anniversary. I know you guys fussed at me when I opened like the Furby and stuff from the eBay box that they sent me, but you guys, I just love, I, I don't know what to say. It's not out of disrespect. It's out of like genuinely wanting to put batteries in the Furby and enjoying it. <laughs> so, I don't know, I, I never try and irritate anybody. I kind of just want to enjoy this stuff. Do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna open up one of these and we'll see. The top one is from the Honey I Shrunk the Kids movie playground set. That's not even there anymore. I think that's part of the new construction, oh my gosh, Splash Mountain. But I think that they took away, I don't even recognize that ride. Oh, it's for Innovation. They don't have that anymore really at Epcot either. So crazy. So I think the Honey I Shrunk the Kids playground is gone as well because they are reconstructing most of Hollywood Studios. They are taking most of it apart to add a lot of Star Wars stuff and to add a Toy Story Land. So I think that that Honey, I Shrunk the Kids Playground is gone as well. Oh my gosh. I don't even remember these either. 1995, we have Tigger. It's called Tiny Kingdom. I'm gonna save this one for my dad because he loves the Toy Story aliens. So they look like they're actually these little metal figurines. That is so cool. Look at all these Smurfs action figures. Oh my gosh. Venture. That store sounds so familiar. So, so many Smurfs in their packages. So I'm not gonna open any of these. I'm gonna donate them. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is gonna be a keeper item. It is a vintage. I'm trying to see what year, but I'm assuming it was the year that Toy Story came out. It is an alien. <laughs> That's so, so cute. I love him. There's a Woody with kicking leg action and he comes with a snake, I guess, so he can say, there's a snake in my boot. Get Buzz's metallic suit. I almost said Woody. It's like I combined Buzz and Woody. Look, there's Rex. How amazing is that? Am I even showing him to you? I just keep digging in the box. So we have a lot of stuff in envelopes. Oh my gosh, it looks like a Time Magazine. From what, oh, let me cover up the address. So this is from July 26, 1999. It's gonna be so much fun to flip through these magazines. So we have two time, oh my gosh, it's Michael Jordan. That is definitely like some of the most 90s stuff ever. We have another envelope, oh my gosh. This is amazing. Look at all of these vintage stickers. <gasps> Oh, look at these Batman. This was when Jim Carrey was the Riddler. Look at that, Batman logo. Um, Hercules, we have more Hercules. We have, 
I saw some Bart in here. Oh my gosh, Star Wars. Look at the Darth Maul ones. We have Flintstones. Oh, I loved that movie with, um, I'm trying to think of his name. We also have two packs of Simpson stickers. Oh my gosh, look at this. 1990. That is incredible. They are puffy stickers. We have Bart. We have Lisa. I'm tempted to not open these. I'm like, do I not open them or do I use them? It's like 50-50. We also have some newspapers, which this is gonna be so much fun to flip through. Once again, we have the Michael Jordan commemorative section. And I'm actually excited to read this article about Al Capone. Like, I don't know why I have such a fascination for gangsters and bad guys. Oh my gosh, Elmo. Do you guys remember the Elmo craze of the 90s? Look, he looks so friendly. And we have, it looks like, oh my gosh. I would have loved this when I was a kid. It's Thomas O'Malley, the alley cat. And dare I say that this is a VHS box set? Oh, this I'm tempted to leave the way it is. This is actually like pure magic video and plush toy. What year did this come out? This had to be right at 1990. Oh my gosh, I was so excited for those when I was little where you got like a stuffed animal and uh, and the movie. It was like the greatest thing ever. <gasps> oh my God, yo quiero Taco Bell. I know I didn't say that right. Yeah, Why did they get rid of that mascot? He was so much fun. Oh, this was stuff I loved too when I was a kid. These like cups that you got at McDonald's and I don't even know who that player is. Somebody must be looking for me and every time I move, I have bubble wrap that I'm sitting on. So it's making these nice little farty sound effects. But they were like all these cups that you got with your meal at McDonald's. Man, Steve must have been a serious collector. Okay, I have to keep the Michael Jordan one. I feel like that's so 90s. But it's like Looney Tunes and uh, basketball. A little buzz and a little woody. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember these? This video is 90% oh my gosh. But do y'all remember when you could get from McDonald's these miniature Thai Beanie Babies? So there was a set of four. This was in 1999. Oh! Look at his face. He's trapped in there. Flick, look at him. He's literally like, he looks like he's fainting. He's like, I've been in a box. I've been in a box for too long. We have two more mini boxes in the box. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. We have uh, beanbag plushes that are Buzz Lightyear. Oh my gosh, and just look at the TLC with all of these protector tags. I feel like that's literally so amazing. We have Woody, we have, oh my gosh, why can't I think of the horse's name? Rex, and I always loved him when I was little. I don't know why, because dinosaurs freak me out, but I guess because he was like a scared dinosaur, so I thought that, that was cute. Oh my gosh, and then we have all these Thai Beanie Baby McDonald's toys. Look at that, we have Bongo, the monkey. I remember Smoochie the frog. Look at all of these. This is amazing. I'll just open this one, because his name is Scoop. And this is Scoops. Okay, please don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me, okay? I know it's been sealed since 1990 something, but I want to enjoy it, okay? 1998 until now. But Scoops, look at his little face. He's so cute. Thank you so much, Steve. So I'm gonna donate everything except for I'm gonna save the little cups because I will use these. But all the toys and everything, I'm gonna donate. Thank you so much for that generous gift. Guys, this is so hilarious because I was like, I'm gonna move to the bathroom to, to film the next boxes. But this one. This one is also too heavy for me to pick up. This 90s box comes from Ashley and Stephanie. It says $950, how about free? Um, and it also says drama queen on the side, which is accurate. Oh my gosh, look, love always. Look at this adorable card right on the top. 90s kid redemption. Okay, I'm gonna open, I'm gonna open and read the letter in just a minute. Look. 
We've got worms. Many, many iridescent <laughs> in my mouth. Worms. Warheads, warheads. Extreme sour warheads. That is definitely incredibly 90s. Oh my gosh. I am so excited for this. Look at this cute book bundle that they put together. You guys should be on eBay. Goosebumps book. Reader beware, you're in for a scare. Is this literally a choose your own adventure? Oh my gosh, I never even had this one. There are 20 different scary endings that you can pick from. So you like choose your own adventure. Do you guys remember those books? I loved those. This one came out in 1995. We have the cat dog joke book. When does cat dog go to a baseball game? When it's a double header. <laughs> Animorphs. Do you guys remember that? I loved these books. And then, eh, oh, the mystery files of Shelby Woo. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is stuff I have not thought about in a million years. Is the camera focusing at all? And then we have two mystery card packs. So this is music cards. Let's see, with facts about your favorite rock, pop, and rap stars. Let's see what year this came out. This is 1991. Oh, oh my God, right on top. I got Led Zeppelin. Okay, that's seriously lucky. One of my all time favorite bands. How about a little focusing? There we go. Oh my God, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Literally, Madonna, this is great. Then we have In Vogue. Okay, here's one I don't even know, Perfect Gentleman. Okay, I don't know this next guy either, Paul Young. Somebody help me out. Who, who, who? Uh, look, more than I don't, who are the hoodoo gurus? Then we have Electric Boys. Look at this, so many bands I haven't heard of. King's X. Who, who? Dave Edmonds. He sounds familiar. I knew four and I didn't know eight, but it's fun. Now I have people to research. We've got the Powerpuff Girls. It's a puzzle. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at this, Lisa Frank. It's a glitter art set. Look at that. Look at that. That is so adorable. I'm loving it. Oh my gosh, you guys, Dogman is gonna die. He loves these. He seriously has so many. Oh my God, is that Dr. Doom? I love Dr. Doom. Dogman kept all of these when he was a kid. He seriously had some of the same exact card sets. It's gonna be so much fun to see if any of these are ones he's missing. Look at them. I don't even know who they are, but I'm excited. How to draw Donkey Kong and friends. The Milk Mustache book. Oh my God. Do you remember when this was a thing? Because I do. I always wanted to do this. This was like when I was a kid and I pretended I was famous and I would like do a milk mustache. Oh look, it's Phoebe. And what was her name? Rachel? I don't even remember. Wait, who is that? Who are you? Matthew Fox. Who is that? Oh my God. I remember. I don't even know what Olympic swimmer that is, but I remember that exact ad. I used to think it was so cool. The Married with Children 3D Glasses book. This is amazing. Oh my God. I always love that show. It does. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is like nonstop excitement today. And we have a nice sealed up, never used, uh, postcard. I feel like I'm gonna give that to Sydney because I feel like her puppy looks just like that. Oh my gosh, is this what I think it is? I think it is. Oh! I remember I was so into this when I was a kid. It is the Dare, Dare bracelet. You guys remember? Do you remember these? It was like they gave us ribbons and sometimes they were these little ribbon bracelets that my camera is going to refuse to focus on. Oh, look at that. Magic, 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 magic. Where do you even get these things? I also remember these stickers, Sandy Lion stickers. Do you guys remember? Oh, 
you guys this is like reliving my childhood look at these oh my god look at this one it's all makeup stuff and there's actually a false eyelash sticker these are so cute i actually had this one when i was little it's like the fantasy set with dragons and wizards it wouldn't be the 90s without michael jordan so it's like a glass kind of lithograph with marvin martian and bugs bunny amazing okay also we have something wrapped up in this paper so we're gonna rip it oh oh i loved this one and i don't know what happened to mine oh he's so magical i don't even remember what i don't remember what his name is scorch he was born on July 31st, 1998, but he is an original Beanie Baby, and I remember I loved this one because he has, like, different kind of textured fur. It's not, like, normal Beanie Baby fur. It's, like, magical Beanie Baby fur. Oh, I feel like I've been reunited with a childhood friend. We've got a tube. Oh, my gosh. No way. Oh, I love these. And I've not had these in forever. And now my hair is short enough I can use them. Were these called banana clips? We have two. And I have to buy one. I've been meaning to get one for months. Cassette player. So we have the Friends soundtrack and Monica. I remember the song The Boy Is Mine from Monica. And I had a pool party for my birthday the year that that came out. And we listened to that song I'm not even joking, like 800 times. It was like all we listened to at the pool that day was Monica and Brandy. Look at these adorable earrings. Look at that. Look at the hollow. No way. Look at this. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. The movie on VHS. You ooze, you lose. Uh, we also have the Dark Crystal. No way. Oh my god, I'm like so excited. And we have Matilda. Oh my god, we just watched this the other day. I forgot how good this movie is. And Danny DeVito. You gotta love Danny DeVito. This is all wrapped too. I am loving this paper. Look at that. It's like I want to recycle it. I think I should put some of it in my scrapbook. Oh my god, it's Independence Day. It's a sealed copy of Independence Day. This is amazing. I feel like I should convert like a bedroom into a 90s appreciation room. Wouldn't that be amazing? Oh my gosh, okay, what is this? You are so off my buddy list. Oh, isn't it sad that um, freaking AOL, Instant Messenger, they just discontinued the service the other day and it honestly made me feel so sad because that was like the thing, the thing to do. Uh, and, and, and now it's gone forever. It's like, it's like MySpace. Look at that. Wait, it's like a, is this from a movie? Is this one thing that I don't know? It feels flexible and fluffy. And, oh, oh my gosh. Look at this reversible dress. This is the most 90s thing. I loved this print. I thought that this was like the coolest. Look at that. <gasps> Love it. Love it. You guys remember this stuff? Like when the sport look was all the rage and look at it. It has like hibiscus on it. That was such a 90s thing. And then we have, what do we have? Oh, it's a halter. It's a halter tank top. Oh my God, it's LEI jeans. That is so 90s too. And it has this braided detail. Look at that. And then like the flare leg, so 90s. Oh, look at this pin. This is the exact kind of stuff that I would take to school with me. Mirabu feathers. Yes, yes, yes. If I don't order a new camera off of Amazon today, Hit me with a stick. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles postcard book? Greetings from the sewer. That just sounds like my house. Uh, this is amazing. Wait, did I open? I thought I opened it to a shredder page. I just, oh! Be still my beating heart. I 
love shredder i loved shredder and i wanted to be shredder what was that about me growing up it's like i love you and i also want to be you oh my gosh my best friend from high school is coming home from new york in a couple of days for christmas and we are gonna look at all of this stuff and cherish it together dare i say that this is a three pack of cds what do we have what do we have <gasps> Now that's what I call music three. I was just joking the other day about how these literally are still coming out. It's like, now that's what I call music 500. Lenny Kravitz, American Woman, Blink 182. What's my age again? Enrique Iglesias, Balamos. Now that's what I call music two. 1999, Britney Spears, Baby One More Time. Uh, you two sweetest thing. Garbage, I think I'm paranoid, 98 degrees because of you. This is cherishable. Oh my God, this is the original one, you guys. This is just now. And they didn't even call it, now that's what I call music. They just called it now and then stop. Look at the cover. Freaking Backstreet Boys, as long as you love me. Oh my God, Harvey Danger, Flagpole, Sitta. My friends and I love that song and we literally thought we were so edgy and not to be trifled with because we listened to Harvey Danger. Oh my God, I need a VHS player right now. I want to watch Spice World so bad. Thank you so much, Ashley and Stephanie. You guys are too good to me. I don't deserve you. We're moving to the bathroom. We're gonna do a couple more boxes. I know this video has been so long already. So many good 90s memories, you guys. I don't even know what to make of this. I was just gathering the 90s boxes. And then there's this one that says Fragile. Johnny Depp enclosed? Johnny Depp says, let me out? I'm dying, what is this? Dare I say I've made an executive decision to maybe open some other ones of these? Wait, how can I cover that? Uh, that's a 90s box. These couple ones are also extremely big 90s boxes. I think maybe I should split up these 90s unboxings into more than one video. So we're gonna open a couple more of these smaller ones. This comes from Jandy Candy Lips. Isn't that a mouthful? But look at this cute little gator that she drew for me. I am loving it. And what do we have in here? We have a paper and plastic. What is this? This is so cute. Oh my God, it says a little friend. This is, oh, and it has a soft vinyl face. Look at this, it is a four inch little blanket baby. That is adorable. Does this have a year on it? 1992. You guys, I was a wee baby myself. We have a Wonder Ball. Do you guys remember these? I feel like these are slowly but surely coming back. Well, this is definitely a new one. Um, it's because it's a Shopkins one, which makes sense. Uh, you probably don't want to send somebody candy from the 90s. It might be kind of, oh, this one is so heavy. Ooh, actual 90s in clothes. Look at this. I feel like my faith in 90s kids is restored. I hope none of you spent any money on this stuff though. I hope it's all stuff that you wanted to clean out of your closet and your attic or you were tired of looking at it. But I do appreciate it so incredibly much. It has definitely brought so many smiles to my face today. I'm just in love. Oh my gosh. Okay, I already see this and I'm so excited. I'm amazed. Look at this. It's literally all these 90s. Oh my God, there's a comic book on here too. Wait, what is this? It came out on top. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have to get a VHS player now because look at this, pop-up videos from the 80s, Culture Club, Duran Duran. This is amazing. Wang Chung, love it, love it. I am literally, I have to get a VHS now. Oh, okay, this is the little card. Okay, gotta save it, gotta read it. Um, okay, not bogus. That makes me feel so much better. It's Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Oh, I am living. I love that movie so much. I shamelessly watch it all the time. So it is more of those trading cards. You guys, I'm gonna have a blast looking at these. I'm gonna have to go get some of those card protector sheets from Amazon. I'm gonna have so much fun like putting those in sleeves and looking at them all. It's been so 
long since I've thought of those, but look at this. It is a stack. Where is my knife? Where is my knife? I feel like that's the next uh, Swamp Family song we need to create is where is my knife? Look at all of these Batman. Oh my gosh, Dogman and I are totally gonna have to read these together. Robin and Batman. Look at these. Entertainment from May 20th, 1994. The Men of Melrose. We have Trek. <gasps> Oh my God, how many times have I done this today? <laughs> okay, holy grail, holy grail, holy grail. It is an entertainment with David Duchovny on the cover. Oh, I'm living, I'm living and dying. Exposing the X-Files. Thank you. Oh my God, look at Harrison Ford. A hundred greatest movie stars of all time. I'm trying to be careful because her address is on the bottom of these magazines. Look at this. <gasps> I never had this. Because of course my parents were like, you are too young for that. Look at that. That Rolling Stone cover with David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson. I know what I'm going to be reading tonight. 1967 to 1992 Rolling Stone interviews. The 1992 yearbook. It's got the Red Hot Chili Peppers on the cover. You guys, I am literally living. And I know this is like a smoking ad, so don't smoke, but look at her fashion. Dress me. Thank you so much, Jean. Jeannie, how do you say your name? <sighs> Everybody has to sound it off. Okay, do we do one more or do we do two more? One more, two more, one more, two more. I don't wanna stop. I wish this was a live stream so we could just keep going and going. Oh, this is, this one's a heavy one. You guys were so generous. And I'm so weak. Oh, is that somebody's address? I hope not. Non-gross, real life, 90s box. No bugs, mold, dirt, slash, ew. Thank you so much. This comes from Lacey and Marley. I feel like this is kind of a big one. So if I'm kind of slow with this one, this one might be the last one of the day because I know this is going to be a 40 minute long video. It's so slow. It's because I'm having so much fun. Okay, Lacey. Mascara Martians, is that your name? That is amazing. That's your YouTube name. I wish I would have been that smart. And this is from Marley. And look at this gator illustration. I want to frame it. It's so cool. Okay, we've got worms, worms, worms. And I love these worms. They are gator green. <gasps> oh, I feel, <gasps> it's more warheads. I love warheads. No joke. Okay, worms, 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 and warheads, worms, and warheads. All that, that's a freaking all that sticker? Seriously? Okay, open this too. Treasures inside. Okay, I feel like I shouldn't cut it. Oh my God, it is a Hanson. No! Oh my God, this is treasure. This is treasure, Leonardo and today's hottest hunks. Yes, thank you. 12 giant pull out posters. What is this movie? What is this movie? What is this magazine? I'm trying to see, is it like Tiger Beat? Teen Beat? Teen Bop? Oh my God, AJ, Brian, Kevin. Oh my God, what year is this? What year? No authority, I remember them. Ooh, the Spice Girls. Look, we have Hanson on the back. Weren't they just on a Christmas special and they looked so grown up? I was like, 1998, that was my year. That was my year to be alive. Okay, I'm just trying to find the Leonardo DiCaprio poster. Oh my God, I'm so gonna read this though. Backstreet Boys, Hanson. <gasps> Look at that, oh, oh my God. I don't know if I had this one, but I'm really, look at how young he was, it was like a baby. Wasn't that like one year after Titanic? Didn't Titanic come out in um, 1997? If I'm remembering my history right, oh, this says 90s holy grail. Girl, you already sent it. What is this? What is this? What is in this paper? What is in this paper? Oh my God. Look, I have to show you how it's wrapped because it came in a magic camo bucket hat. I'm living for it, but look at what it is. Oh! I'm so serious about the home for Furby, okay? It's happening. I am now a nursing home for Furbies. I love this one. I never had a spotty one. 
You guys, I am obsessed with Furbies. I am obsessed. Oh my God, please still write. This is amazing. Look at this. Let's see, does it still, it does. It's a Christmas miracle. Oh my God, I am in love with this. It is a rainbow fuzzy pin that is going directly on my desk. Dare I say, it's more VHS. <gasps> Space Jam and Wayne's World. You guys have such amazing taste. Dr. Pepper Lip Smackers. I remember this. This is good at the past, present, and future. Okay, we've got more things in paper. More things in paper. Oh, we have starring Robin Williams, Flubber the Book. Oh, it has pictures. Do you guys remember this when they like tried to entice you? Oh my God, do you guys remember? True 90s kids will remember. Do you remember when they sent you, it wasn't the book fair, which is an amazing experience. Do they still have book fairs? But it was like those little two page things that they sent you home with from school and you got to like pick and order books. I lived for those days. Oh my gosh. And then it's teen girl talk. You don't say a guide to beauty, fashion, and health. 1990. Your clothing personality is showing. Clothing styles can be divided into fashion types. Both your figure and your personality will help determine which type is most like you. Some fairly standard categories are sporty slash natural, romantic, ingenue, what does that mean? And classic. What does that mean? Fashion types are not absolute. You may find you fit more than one. Keep your fashion type in mind as you select your clothes, makeup, hair, style, and accessories. You guys, I'm loving this. Ooh, there's a workout routine. Lord knows I need that. Booyah. And is this what I think it is? Oh my God, it's TLC. Look at that. Let's see what this disc looks like. <sighs> Look at that. It's taking me back all the way back to 1994. Ring Top Cry Baby Gum. I still buy this all the time. I love it. Ooh, <gasps> 600 Lisa Frank stickers. Oh, these are gonna go on everything. Look at the cheeseburger. Rainbow Spotted Dalmatians sharing a cheeseburger. I was totally not pointing at that. Okay, oh my God, do you guys remember Mad Balls? Because I do, and the Babysitter's Club, Marianne Saves the Day. We also have the Baby Bottle Pop, Baby Bottle Pop, a true 90s staple. And oh my God, I can't even believe anybody else remembered these or had these because I loved these. Oh my gosh, Puffkins. I couldn't remember the name, but look at him. He's like a little Valentine's Day bear. He's so cute. He doesn't have any arms. You don't need arms in the 90s, just cute little fuzzy feet. We still have one, two, three, four 90s boxes that I know of. And I know a lot of you guys, once again, said that you were mailing some 90s stuff. Please don't feel obligated to do so. Don't ever feel obligated to send me anything or spend any money whatsoever. I feel like I will always say this and I will always feel this way. I seriously do not deserve you guys. You guys are always coming in to save the day and just all the love and support that you guys show to me is incredible. The fact that anybody would send me anything, especially after literally buying that box on eBay, I've said it a million times, it was my own fault and it was my own stupidity. But the fact that you guys care enough about me to gather this stuff from around your house. I don't know, maybe from thrift stores. Like I said, I hope nobody like bought this stuff and spent money on it. I hope it was just stuff you intended to get rid of anyway. Thank you guys so, so much for showing me such incredible love and kindness. And like I always say, just thank you so much for your support just by being here, just by being here and interacting with me and saying hello on Twitter or leaving a comment down below. All of that is just so precious to me and I am just attached to this pen already. I'm holding it. Uh, but thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe. I'm literally going to film the rest of this tomorrow. I might give it a couple of days because I know so many guys have been sending me emails and leaving comments that y'all were going to uh, send 90s boxes to Swamp Family Mail. So I don't know, I'm kind of I'm 50-50. 
But I feel like definitely I should just open some other Swamp Family mail anyway. I want to know what the Johnny Depp box contains. What is up with that? That's exciting. I love you guys. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye!